Russia. A superpower. But who are its friends today? For that we need to go back in time to 1945. President Truman announced the official surrender. The forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The Soviet Union got one of the permanent seats in the Security Council. A group of five countries that have the main responsibility to maintain international peace and security. The Security Council is also made up of rotating members, but those don't have veto power. What is it to veto? To veto literally means that you can say no. This power can be used to any decision that has already been agreed upon by the other member nations of the Security Council. These countries basically rule the world and even decide if a country is a country. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russia was given the seat of the Soviet Union. So this brings us back to today. Who are Russia's friends? In 2022, there have been two resolutions from the United Nations General Assembly with a vote for or against Russia. And this is a great way to assess who Russia's real friends are. 193 countries are able to vote and only four countries voted for Russia. Belarus, Syria, Eritrea and North Korea. A lot of countries that normally back Russia didn't do it this time, for example Nauru and Nicaragua. Central Asia, India, China, Iran and even Armenia didn't vote pro-Russia. Instead they did a neutral vote or they didn't vote at all. You can see it in yellow on the map, with Africa being the most divided, all the other countries are red, they voted against Russia. And this includes Serbia, Israel, the Middle East and even South America. In October 2022 there was another vote with some small changes. Nicaragua pledged full support and voted pro-Russia, while Eritrea went neutral. Five countries including Thailand went neutral, while other countries including Angola who normally support Russia went against Russia and followed the western lead. And then there are sanctions being put in place by even non-UN members like Kosovo, Taiwan and all of the other countries in red including their dependent territories, for example Denmark's Greenland. Then there is trading. There's a lot of economies, including in the Caucasus area, Central Asia, Mongolia and even East Europe, which are totally dependent on Russia. India, who hasn't really backed down of trading with Russia this year based on energy and weapon support, which is also something that Sudan is buying. So at the end of the day, if we look at the map, I think this is more or less where we see Russia today. With some countries, not really sure which part they're on, but everybody is part of this world that we're in. And that's a world where Russia is a permanent member of the Security Council and within this setting they will always have some support. Thank you very much, I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to keep creating adventures, bye!